Hi, this is Tom Nawazi, the Moon Star. I'm going to talk to you about verification for TCPA with visualization. Today I'm going to talk to you through a few, one, our data, two, how the application works, and three, how it visualizes for our customers. Let's start with talking about our data. So Newstar is a real-time information services and analytics company built on core identity data. You know, right now we see roughly 16 million businesses, 220 individuals, 120 million households, 45 billion daily inquiries, and 11 billion daily updates. All this data stitches together a rich set of data that we build applications on top of. So let me walk you through a little bit of what this data looks like. So Newstar, at its core, has been an identity company for, for quite a bit, you know, long before it was kind of in vogue. We've been working in really a few different areas. You know, we have roots in the telco world, um, but we've also kind of branched out and have a very strong marketing and risk businesses now. You know, right now, we have probably some of the strongest phone data in America. And so let's just take a look at what our data looks like. And then we'll talk a little bit about how our clients use it. So for a given phone number, we can search search this phone number. So I search my phone number. And right now what we can see is there's two, two consumers associated with this phone number. Um, and really what this is is I have a family plan uh, for a wireless carrier. And we'll talk a little bit about that. But with this data, Newstar is able to stitch together rich data uh, around this consumer. So you can see these are kind of all of the addresses I've had for probably the last 50 15 years or so. Uh, and then if you look at it based on an address, you can see the same thing, all the addresses, uh, email addresses, phone numbers, IP addresses, dates of birth, names. And all of this data, you know, when used can help companies either become more efficient in one, their operations, trying to kind of figure out, you know, how do we uh, reduce friction and improve kind of operational efficiency? And that's a lot of what my mandate is. But then this data is also being used for marketing purposes. So now that we've talked about a little bit about our data, you know, really kind of what 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 makes Newstar really unique is is this phone data, is linking consumers to phone numbers. And we're going to talk through that as we go through the next example as we actually talk through the application. And so the application we're, I'm, I'm here to talk to you today is our verification for TCPA with visualization. And really what this service is all about is helping companies understand whether consumers associate it with a phone number. You know, when we abstract this up a level, there's lots of companies who need to contact consumers, either by text message or, or by phone, for a litany of business issues. You know, for example, a company might want to contact a consumer for a fraud alert via text message or call them to say, hey, your credit card needs to be updated because you changed your credit card. Uh, and there's a lot of other business reasons to contact a consumer by telephone. And what Newstar really does is, one, we say, hey, this, this phone number is associated with this consumer or not at scale for the U.S. And two, if it is associated with that consumer, we then can provide rich insights around that phone number to help optimize that customer experience. So, you know, one, we can help our clients determine, you know, what's the best phone number of multiple phone numbers to reach a consumer at or what's the best time of day to call a consumer. Uh, and then we could also potentially overlay demographic and psychographic data, depending on what that customer wants to do during the use case. And so here we're gonna talk just a little bit about our uh, verification product. And so in this example, a customer provides us a name, a phone number, a consent date, a uh, physical address and email. And then Newstar, we can provide back information about the phone, you know, whether it's been wireless or disconnected since the consent date. Uh, we always talk about consent dates here because the Telephone Consumer Protection Act mandated by the Federal Communications Commission mandates that a consumer must give consent to be auto dialed on a wireless phone. I know that that sounds like a lot, but really kind of when you boil it down, it's just consumers need to consent to have someone contact them on their wireless phone given certain technologies. And this is what big banks, really retailers, anyone who's contacting consumers is very well aware of this and candidly has changed their operations based on this regulation. So Newstar, when we get this data, we're going to apply back one, a verification code, essentially saying, hey, does this phone go together with this consumer? And then we're going to apply back some, you know, what we call attributes or, you know, potentially insights about that phone number, uh, whether it's been in service, so this is gets at the duration that the phone number has been associated with the consumer. And so we're saying, hey, you know, we've seen this consumer associated with this phone for 12 plus months. We can indicate whether a phone's a prepaid or postpaid phone, uh, whether a phone is linked to an address, uh, and then a phone is linked to email. And we have a lot of other insights that we'll walk through shortly. At the end of the day, the business is going to decide, do I dial this consumer or not? 
If the business doesn't have a good phone for a consumer, Newstar can then append additional data to help that business contact that consumer. And so really we're trying to kind of own this whole outbound communication space. Before we jump to this slide, I wanted to kind of walk through how the system works. So here's a demo. This is actually how the application works. We have our custom rules engine overlaid on top of this. Um, and then I'm just going to do a simple scenario where I say, hey, this is my phone number. This is me, uh, Thomas Nawazic. Uh, and then this is the date that I gave consent uh, to, to be contacted. And then we have some parameters uh, further down. And so this is my phone number, 202-492-5085. This is my name uh, and then the other parameters. So we're going to test this. And so what you'll see here is that I provided a valid phone in the North American numbering plan. Really what this means is, you know, this number was provisioned and is valid uh, as of today in the North American numbering plan. So the FCC states which num numbers are valid or not valid, and that's what this is really getting at. Uh, we provide back a result code 10. 10 means that this name is positively linked to this phone number uh, according to an authoritative source. So Newstar has a source that's directly from the carrier saying, hey, this is Thomas's phone number. Uh, this is essentially a good place to reach him. Phone type is wireless. Uh, prepaid, uh, this is not a prepaid phone. It's a postpaid, or postpaid is kind of a traditional wireless phone number from kind of AT&T, Verizon, etc. Uh, I am on the FTC do not call list, um, so we indicate that. Uh, this is more for marketing applications. My last disconnect was greater than 24 months ago. And then we kind of get into some of our kind of richer data. One is the carrier, which is AT&T. And, and the carrier is interesting more from, well, for a few reasons. One, for texting, um, it's it becomes very important for how you route the text. Uh, two, it also overlays context of, you know, the consumers you're reaching, etc. What you'll find is, you know, certain companies have, you know, different data associated with different carriers. So, you know, it becomes very important for companies to know which carriers they're working at. Uh, the last port date, um, this this is actually more important in the fraud realm. You know, re recently we've been seeing a lot more uh, risk associated with porting. Uh, so you'll see there's it's been in the popular press in the last few weeks is that, you know, consumers are having their phones ported away from them and fraud's happening. We saw an initial surge in this when Apple Pay came out two years ago, but it's really rich, valuable insight insights and data uh, that we're, we're actually quite proud of. We've been selling this port data by itself uh, to some of the largest banks in real time to say, hey, this phone number was ported away a minute ago. Apply special business processes to, to manage them. Then lastly, we have phone and service, which I talked about on the on the previous slide. This is a, a, a duration metric um, around how long we've seen a consumer associated with phone. This is actually a new star proprietary data element. Really what we're able to do is we're able to, to use data sources in the public realm to talk about how long a consumer has been associated with a phone. This is highly predictive uh, for reaching consumers. The other two data elements are, are phone usage. So if phone and service is a duration metric, phone usage is an amplitude metric, where we talk about how heavy a user has been on their phone in the last couple months. Again, super interesting for reaching a consumer. And then last is the most active time of day. I know this is a gigantic string of numbers, but what this gets at is what are the times a day that that I'm most active on my phone what our clients are finding is that they're you know the days a consumer's most most active on a phone is highly correlated for the consumer picking up and so at the end we're providing as much rich content to our customers as we can. You know, we've had a lot of success selling this solution. Uh, right now, we've sold it to 10 out of the 10, top 10 US banks, widely in the utility space, in the retailing space, uh, and then we're actually uh, starting to kind of get into healthcare with this. And so we've seen a, a lot of client interest and really a lot of client success with this product line. And so let me just jump back into my PowerPoint to talk a little bit about how the product works. So right now, I showed you kind of an API version of our product where a client sends us a query. We provide back some insights around that query, uh, whether it belongs to the consumer or not. You know, really what we've done is we've kind of taken this to the next step where a lot of our customers, you know, yeah, it's interesting that if they, if they want to query us in real time, that's helpful to them. But really what they want to be told is they want to say, hey, this is our data set. You tell us when stuff is going out of date because we want to have the most accurate 
an impactful CRM system. And so what Newstar has done is we've kind of taken this to the next level and developed what we call our proactive change notification platform. What we do is we onboard our clients whole data set right here. So we onboard their whole CRM. Uh, as of today, Newstar has over a half a billion consumer records onboard it on our servers. And then we're monitoring those for changes. So when a client initially onboards us, we scrub their whole file and say, hey, this data is good, this data is bad, here's, here's attributes and insights about these data. And and then when we see changes in that on a daily basis, we're pushing those to clients. Uh, the changes can be up to the minute. Uh, we have uh, certain services like port notifications where the clients want it up to the, you know, they want changes in real time effectively. And we provide that or other clients kind of want their changes on a daily or a weekly basis. So we're able to kind of comply to what, whatever their infrastructure can support. Ultimately, our clients find that this is a much more efficient method than querying us on a per query basis, especially around their dialing technologies, dialing and texting technologies to be precise. Uh, those systems tend to, not to, be, to be a little bit more rigid, especially at the large financial institutions uh, with some of their legacy hardware and software. So as we jump back into the kind of our demo, let me get back there. You know, the last thing I wanted to show you was our visualization. So now we've talked a little bit about what, why our data is unique, one, two, how the application works, and now the visualization. You know, as I've said, we work with 10 of the top 10 banks, and really what, what's happening is they're saying to Newstar, hey, Newstar, we know you're the expert in phone identity data uh, and insights around that, so really kind of show us what's happening. And, and, and what, what our clients have found is, you know, we've started to understand the cadence of movement of the phone data, how this impacts their business, and then they're starting to be able to plan against it, which is the most important part. Because at the end of the day, these solutions are really designed to remove friction. And so as you can see, this is a demo, a sample. Um, this is actually this isn't client data. This is a sample of what our, our client applications look like. So right now on the left side we have a date range selected. I have 1210 to 112 2018. We have different types of you know we've ads, changes, and ports. A port is when a consumer moves a phone number from one carrier to another. There's different types of ports. Um, we won't get into that today, uh, but just know there's a lot of complexity in each of these data elements. And really what Newstar is doing is one is we're helping our clients understand the, the movement and change of their data. And when we do this, they're able to kind of better plan and and, and allocate resources against this. At the end of the day, the clients buy this service because they can be more operationally efficient, aka reduce costs, help with their outbound dialing. And so what we, what we see is, we one, we have distributions, we have kind of by result code and what kind of percentage of their data looks like. Uh, and then we have it on a weekly, this is a weekly basis right now, we can review what their data is looking like so we can see if there's large variations of change from one week to another. We also have an operational dashboard, which gets into, you know, how many records do we have under, under management, what are wireless, what are landline, you know, how many disconnects we've seen uh, in, in, a, in a period of time, the number of ports we've seen in a different time. And ports are important because a port versus a disconnect. A disconnect says hand, consumer hands in their phone number and says, hey, don't want it anymore. Where ports, I go from Verizon to AT&T, et cetera. Uh, and so it's very important for companies to be able to differentiate between those because when you disconnect a phone, your consent gets revoked to, to contact that consumer, where if it ports, the consent follows. And then we're able to allow a lot of other rich context. Overall, our clients find a lot of value in this solution, and they're able to materially improve their right party contact rate. Most of our clients see uh, upwards of a 4x uh, improvement in right party contact rates by using best practices that we've established over the last few years. Well, thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed the demo. Thank you.